sometimes you may hear certain words that would inspire you and motivate you so much that you may even want to create content you know using those words and one of the ways to do that is by creating a design and having those words on there so in this video i'm going to be teaching you a very cool way to create a quote instagram post so that you can be able to share these words with style so don't go anywhere and i will be right back Hello everyone, Benjamin here. I'm one of the few verified Canva experts in Africa. And in this video, I'm going to be teaching you every single thing you need to know on how to create a quote post inside of Canva. And so, if this is also your first time joining me on this channel, I must say you are so welcome. I would highly encourage you to hit on the subscribe button because this is the best channel, in my opinion, where you can learn everything you need to know about Canva. And also, if you're an OG, you know, you are just so welcome and thank you so much for the continued support. Without any further ado, let's jump straight into it all right so you can see what we have here and this is exactly what we are going to be creating so all i'll just do is to click on add a page and we should see this blank canvas over here the background color i'm currently using is black so make sure you set it to black and the dimension is 1080 by 1350 as always okay so what we are going to do is um you know since i have something how come this change to white okay so let me just first of all change this to black and the next thing we will have to do is to go into element of photo okay and just search for any photo at all of your choice okay so what you need to have in mind is that you need the same you know person you know two different photos of the same person this would help to make your design look beautiful okay okay so let me just search for mine and um so instead of this gentleman we are going to be using this lady so i'll first of all choose you know this image for an example i'll click on edit image and make sure you are finding bg remover if you are on the free version of canva you can use remove.bg okay so i will just click on edit image and click on bg remover and um, the background of our image should be removed and while canva is removing the background of our image i want to use this opportunity to recommend canva pro to you and this is why just in case you're looking at doing more inside of canva uploading custom fonts having access to multiple pro fonts templates animation options and you know doing almost anything you want to do inside of canva and one of the best features i love so much is the video background remover which you can now do inside of canva pro and i want you to be able to use that for free so i have a link in the description box below that will help you use canva pro for free so make sure you check it out while you have the time yeah so i think that's all i just wanted to say let's jump back into our video all right so you can see that the background of our image has been removed successfully and i'll just keep it over here go back into photos and let me just choose another photo of the same lady okay so i'll come to my recently used so the next one i'm going to choose is maybe this one i think you know as she's looking so serious then we just come to edit image again and choose bg remover and i think what canva is also removing you know this one again i just hope you enjoy Enjoy your christmas and i know i haven't officially been able to wish you a happy new year but you know let me just say a happy new year and i must say that this year is coming with a lot of um, interesting things especially on this channel because there are a few plans i made to ensure that you're having the best content when it comes to canva so make sure you keep yourself glued to this channel make sure you are subscribed and keep the notification bell icon smashed okay so I can't just move the background of our image. So let's go back and let's you know finish up with this. So I will make the one behind bigger and I'll position it here because she's smiling. Okay. Then with this second image, I'll click on flip and flip horizontally and just make it big a little bit. Okay, so this is also what we have at the moment. And I will just crop and crop. Okay, select the background image, no, the image behind, okay, then come to transparency and reduce the transparency of it to something like this, which I think it's cool, alright, so what we have to do next is to come into my uploads and um, just in case, just in case you already have the light element, you can just download it and um, if you do not have it, the element website I had is down at the moment so i'll just make sure you still have access to this particular element i'm about to so check in the description box below and you should find it there okay so that's um, all i have to say for now okay so coming back to my uploads i will just scroll down until i find my light element so this is my light element i'll select it and you can see how it's looking at the moment you can use the dual tone effect to change the color of it but i would love to stick to the blue okay so I would come to adjust and I'll increase the blurriness of it so that we can have it looking smooth like that and I'll increase the size and position it somewhere here. Right click and send it to the back. Then I will duplicate it, bring it here 
okay and just send it behind the lady all right so that we can have something like this so you can see how everything is looking and also make sure your photo isn't hanging like how mine is hanging at the moment because we are not trying to wash our photos okay so make sure it's here increase the size and um, yeah i think this is cute so let's do a little bit of editing to the photo all right so i'll just come to edit image come to adjust and the brightness no i think i'll rather reduce the brightness of it then with the contrast it should come up a little bit saturation more to boost the colors the blurriness should be okay um add no no vignette sorry the clarity increase a little bit vibrance to add some extra pop to the colors okay i'll select it okay so i'll just select the filter code copy it select the image behind come here and paste it in here right so you can see it's also taking the same effect and i believe this is just like looking so sweet and elegant <laughs> so the next thing we now have to do is to add the code to the design okay and this is going to be easy to do so um just to make sure this tutorial doesn't go too long because sometimes i just get to what i i will just copy the initial code i used in the earlier um design i made okay so that we can keep this video short all right so i'll just go up select this select that select select and select my engagement icons copy bring it down here and paste so you can see what we have at the moment right or oh, right okay so i'll just leave it here and you can see how this is looking at the moment just in case you also want to add some extra branding you can do that over here so with the engagement icons just in case you have no idea on how to find them in canva this is what you need to do all right so this is the light so you can come to element and just search for um hat okay and you should find it okay so you can just add it okay and the save over here the bookmark icon you can just say save or instagram save okay so let me just do instagram save and um oh okay so we should see a lot of it uh -huh. so you can see we have so many options over here you can choose the one of your choice so i hope you actually found this very easy and very to do if you have any questions on this tutorial kindly make sure you leave it in the comment section if you also found this video helpful you know do your best just leave a like on this video and one more thing if you are new to this channel i would highly recommend you smash on the subscribe button because this is the best way you can stay glued to my future content because it's going to be mind boggling okay the name is benjamin always remember there is no limit to creativity and i should see you in my next tutorial Are next to me, hey, uh, he do not text to me. Uh, I'm trying to get it. Uh.